So now that we've learned about the company and your role in uh, the projects, um, could you tell us a little bit more about why you decided to have a customized solution to manage your supply management and what it means? Yeah, I think that's fair enough. I mean, I have to go back uh, to a meeting I, I had a few years ago uh, with our existing e-procurement uh, tool provider. Um, and uh, he was showing us his latest and greatest version compared to what I was using at the time. I must admit I was a little disappointed. Uh, and literally the next day I had the annual negotiation uh, with Sobis and you were showing us your latest and greatest web-enabled version as well as the uh, Lotus Notes version we were using at the tool. And I more or less just got the feeling from that meeting I was not looking at identical tools, but very similar functionalities. Mm -hmm. And it just crossed my mind at the time, well, what if we were to develop some of that functionality? Could, would it be possible for me to have more of a tool that did things the way I want them to do it? Uh, and that's what we started exploring. So could you go a little bit into more detail what you mean by um, the tool that, that does what you want to do? Yeah, uh, a number of, there's a number of e-procurement tools obviously available in the world. Uh, many of them uh, are not originally designed for procurement, mm -hmm. uh, so they're designed for finance uh, or operations. Mm -hmm. um, so what I find is a lot of the natural processes we have in procurement don't quite fit into those tools so easily. Um, so you end up jumping around different modules and things like that. So, so it's, it's almost unnatural as a buyer as you work your way through what you would think your normal procurement process was. Mm -hmm. um, so it just makes life difficult. And I was tired of having a difficult life with the tool we had at the time, which wasn't awful, <laughs> but it just didn't do everything it said on the box as easily as we hoped. So you already jumped ahead to my next question there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Which would have been uh, how you used to manage. Um, um, of course, uh, you had a tool. So what? What was? Uh, was it also web-based, or what was the difference? Uh, absolutely, it was a web-based tool. Mm -hmm. um, so are we fundamentally doing anything differently uh, uh, from the tool I used to have to today? In general, no. Uh, the procurement process is the procurement process. Um, it's just a lot better facilitated within uh, the Sobis tool than it was before. Mm -hmm. And the main reason for that is the whole tool is based around our process. That makes sense. <laughs> so we're not fighting with it. And much more importantly for me, not just the fighting with it, but um, basically uh, it's hard for the buyer to skip stages. So I can be sure we've taken all the steps we need. Do they usually want to skip <coughs> a space? No, but if your tool jumps you around places, sometimes it's hard to make sure that you are doing everything that you should be doing. Or worse still, you get to the end of your buying process and go, I didn't do this, or I didn't do that. So would you say then uh, your challenge <coughs> is that uh, the tool was not assisting you, but rather sometimes being in the way of your process? Yeah, absolutely. It was a drag. Okay. Yeah. Um, Glad to hear that it's not the case anymore. Uh, and um, now a rather, uh, of course, difficult question to ask, but for us also very important to always uh, get all the information would be um, during the development development phase of, uh, of the tool. You call it Zomo. I think we can hopefully uh, say that. Zomo, yes. And uh, we call it uh, PS sourcing. Sure. Based on our uh, web-based uh, document management system, Pierce. Um, how did you experience the collaboration with well, our team? Uh, it came as no surprise to us. It was excellent. We've been using uh, Silver's Peers for years. Mm -hmm. uh, indeed, we use uh, the Peers tool and the Clean Management tool, uh, and we have one or two other developments uh, in there as well. So we knew Silver's well already. Uh, for me, it was a step of faith. I didn't know Sobis as well, but uh, my, my IT colleagues in house did. Mm -hmm. um, it, um, I think what was good for us was, in essence, we as procurement designed the tool and you facilitated it. Um, and there was never re any real arguments over 
whose expertise either side of the table was. Uh, we gave you guys the script, you would then turn it around in the tool, show us what you thought that meant, and we would have a little play with it, make sure that worked, and if it did, great. If it didn't, you guys would um, give it a bit more of a fix, and yeah, it worked really well for us. Of course, the hard thing for us was going from the generality of a process to the real detail of a process, and just how do you want this function, or this button, or things of this to function. But that, that was a learning for us. I think it was a learning process for us as well. <laughs> I'm sure. But uh, I'm glad to hear that both sides uh, come out with, uh, with good feelings and so they're looking forward to working together in the future, I guess. Yeah, no, I think so. And, 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 and I think also it, it's true amongst uh, my colleagues in-house, mm -hmm. not just the buyers, but the engineers that we always work with. Mm -hmm. um, and possibly even more importantly, and my suppliers, we get a lot of compliments about the tool from our suppliers um, because they also find it's easy to work with. It doesn't force them to do something here and then do something there, and it's just a natural flow. And, and that's what we try to sit down and work out. How can we create natural flows? I am again very happy to hear. So. Um, your requirements were fulfilled and... Uh, um, and we paid you for them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it goes, I Yeah, think. that's right. <laughs> that's right.